Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to take a site that is live on WP Engine and bring it down to your local system utilizing WP Engine's Restore Point or Backup feature and Desktop Server Premium. For this demonstration, I have a basic install created on WP Engine using the standard 2013 theme. We are currently looking at the live site. A short trip to the dashboard reveals that we are running WordPress 3.8 and there is a new release of WordPress 3.8.1. Let's go ahead and update it right now so that our local site is completely current. In this case, I am selecting to go ahead and do the upgrade because a current restore point already exists. A quick check to the front end of the live site reveals that all is well. Next, we will create a backup of our WP Engine website. From your WP Engine dashboard, select the Backup Points icon in the upper right hand side as seen here. On the Backup Points screen, select the Backup Now button. Enter a description and add any email addresses to which you'd like to be notified other than the email address or addresses already associated with your WP Engine account. Then click Create Backup. The amount of time before the backup is complete depends on the size of the site. Once you are notified that the backup is complete, return to the Backup Points screen and refresh it or follow the link in your email notification. Your new backup checkpoint will now be listed at the top of your list of checkpoints. Select this restore point by placing a tick in the checkbox to the left of it and then say Download Zip. Once again, you'll be given the option to enter an email address for notification. Once you have received your notification via email, click on the link provided to download your WP Engine backup. Once you have downloaded your archive, open it up to view the contents. Navigate to the WP Content directory and select but do not open the MU Plugins directory. Delete the MU Plugins directory. In this video, I have opened the directory in order to demonstrate that it contains plugins that are required by WP Engine on their live sites but cause issues with local installation. Once you deploy back to WP Engine, the MU Plugins directory will be automatically recreated. Now it's time to open up Desktop Server. And once you are on its main screen, select the Export, Import, or Share a Website, then click Next. Select Import an existing WordPress website archive. In the first field, navigate to the location of your WP Engine archive or zip file and select it, then click Open. Enter the .dev site name that you would like, and then, if you would like, select the site route where you would like the .dev site to reside. Click Next. Desktop Server will now import your WP Engine site by creating the local folders, virtual hosts, and server name entries. It will then scrub your database and files so the URL works properly on your local site. Once it is complete, click Next, and then a link will appear which will take you to your locally installed WP Engine site as shown here. As you can see, everything is as it was on the live site and all updates have been applied. We hope that you found this short video useful, and if you have any suggestions of future videos you would like us to do, feel free to drop us a line by visiting our website at www.serverpress.com.